Miguel Zubiri hopes to return to the Senate after resigning over the 2007 election fraud case filed against him. In day four of Informant 100, Katrina Domingo tells us more about former Senator Mix Zubiri, who is running under the United Nationalist Alliance. Resignation. It was a move that earned former Senator Miguel Zubiri the public's respect and empathy. In the face of the 2007 Paul fraud case from which benefited him, Zubiri raised the white flag in his fourth year in the Senate to give way to his rival, Senator Coco Pimentel. For him, it wasn't easy, but it earned him the bruises of a fighter. Resignation. Honorable. Two years after, Zubiri is back in the game. This time, he is pushing for an expanded universal health care program. Pagdating sa kalusugan at pag, uh, pagamot sa ating mga kababayan, dapat sagot na pamahalaan yan. Zubiri takes pride in the fruits of his service in Bukidnon, which he represented in Congress for nine years. His socialized Medicare program, which gives free health services to the poor, is now benefiting some 180,000 families in the province. He dreams of bringing it to other parts of the country in need of quality yet affordable health care. The former senator also wants to upgrade health centers and their facilities and keep public hospitals away from the grasp of private firms. Zubiri dreams of giving free breakfast and lunch to public elementary and high school students, enact a student's mania carta, and increase the teacher's salary. In his 13 years in Congress, Zubiri sponsored a number of bills, among them the Renewable Energy Act of 2008 and the Biofuels Act of 2006. Being in the front line of environmental battles earned him the moniker Mr. Clean Energy. The unang dalawang taon ko, marami po akong naipasa. Naipasa ko ang uh, Renewable Energy Act, yung Cooperative Code, Magna Carta for Homeowners and Homeowners Association, Rent Control Law. Napakarami po akong naipasa na na ay nakikinabang po ang sambayan ng Pilipino. Since he became Bukidnon's representative in 1998 and an elected senator in 2007, his desk has never been empty during regular working days. Surveys show Zubiri is on the tail end of the Magic 12, yet he is unfazed with what pre-election polls are saying. Yung labanan na yun, hindi naman surveys eh. Ang labanan is winning the hearts and minds of our people. His term as a legislator may have been cut short, but he's now ready to battle it out again for a six-year term in the upper chamber. Katrina Domingo, Solar News.